Passion drives people to take risks and find meaning in doing the things they like to do. Take, for example, designing fashion bags while bridging ways to sustain livelihoods from various tribal communities. Esti is all about hand-woven indigenous fabrics from Mindanao turned into bags. Usually these are all from the Akan tribes, the Bui tribe, and uh, infused to modern and functional bags. It started during 2010 when I was traveling back and forth to Mindanao, and it turned out that term papers was about Mindanao silk. So when I traveled back to that weaving house, I discovered there were a lot of fabrics that weren't sold and I decided to make use of these fabrics and turn it into bags. I am Martha Rodriguez. I am the owner and designer of Vesti Bags. In Russian, Vesti means sending off messages. Likewise, Vesti Bags sends a message that promotes Filipino indigenous fabrics for modern fashion to preserve weaving traditions and uplift local craftsmanship. Somebody gave me a book about the Tinalak fabrics, the green weavers, and then it turned out this legendary Lang Dulay, who's the pioneer of weaving Tinalak fabrics. So I really went there, I searched for it, I really went there because I wanted to have an autograph signed by her. You can't even understand each other because she has another dialect. So it has to be translated. But the feel of meeting somebody who pioneered something that you really believed in and inspired you for something big. She became my idol. She became like something that was like a message to me that you have to help also preserve the fabrics that she started. So that's how I really want Bestie to be branded. Each Bestie bag has the hero of the handwoven fabrics from the different tribes in Mindanao. We are promoting such fabrics at the same time. We also want to have the bag that it has an advocacy that these fabrics came from Mindanao and it has the origin. We directly buy from the weavers and artisans without any help from any middleman because we want them to exit poverty and for them to have a sustainable life. To promote Hinabi tradition and support Filipino tribes and community livelihoods, Martha sources locally for Vesti's materials and uses fabrics such as Inabel by Ifugaos, Yakan from the Yakan tribe, and the Tinalak by the Tibolis in Zamboanga. This is uh, what we call the Tinalak fabric from the Tiboli tribe. Usually it takes like around one to two months to have it woven. They dye it in natural dyes and then they call themselves dream weavers because they don't usually have a pattern in mind. We just, you know, weave and then it comes to them because they always believe that everything around them is possessed with uh, spirits. This is another example of a Mindanao fabric, so we call it the Yakan fabric. As you can see, I made it into a bag, so it's very geometric in terms of design and then it's very colorful. And then now they use the Yakan fabric as table runners or pillowcases and place mats. So I was thinking, why not use it as a bag? There's another fabric, what we call the hinabol from Lukinoy. Hinabol is kind of stiff, it's made of abaca, and it's also clustered in terms of design. So I infuse it with the leather and the leather to make it softer. This book was given by my dad, because he knows that I'm into fabrics, and then said that I should be inspired with this. Everything here is um, compiled um, from the different fabrics in the Philippines. And this is an example of a family wearing the traditional uh, outfits. Infusing local Hinabi traditions with modern materials to create artisan and casual workday bags, Vesti bags add personality to your daily outfits while being supportive to various livelihoods. You definitely won't have to wait for another Filipiniana event just to use one of these. This is one of the new collections that I have for Vesti. I was thinking of a denim inspired the ones that we have for, for bags, since denim is commonly used for jeans and you know, everyday wear. So this is what we call the abaca, and then I fuse it with denim at the same time, gold rivets on it. And this is what we call the um, hinabol naman from Kidnoin. I was thinking of a lot of fabrics at the same time, infusing it with denim. So you can use a shoulder bag for this. This one's a clutch bag for your evening or your gimmick parties. And then this is part of the traveler who wants to have a backpack always. This collection is my design entries for Little Style Awards, which is last year, and I was one of the finalists for bags. 
So I was thinking of using metal plates and then having the intricacies of the leaves and then the circles and then infusing it with denial for this fabric. And I put um, leather to make it more modern. Intricately weaving these fabrics takes a whole lot of time. That's why Hinabi products may cost a bit higher than the usual. People always tell me that it's very expensive to begin with for a product. Well, um, for a fabric, we think about it, it takes around one month to two months to just weave a meter. So in terms of cost and design, you always have to think that it goes proportionally. So it's very expensive because it's very nice and then the quality is, you know, assured and guaranteed. And always the, the fabrics, you can't even see it or buy it elsewhere. Weaving fabrics has been the livelihood for local tribes for decades. However, due to lower market demand for these textiles and increase of workers' need for money, the hobby tradition is slowly dwindling. When they went to the Abai weavers like in the Ganamis and Mr. Rintang, they were only around five weavers. They had hand looms with them, around five hand looms. So the issues were they could not sell the fabric agad -agad. So the money comes in in a later time. They'd rather go fishing or farming just to sell get the money. So I was really talking to them that Sayan kasi, kung sayan kasi, don't don't uh, let it go, the, the talent, the creativity, and then their the generations kasi of creativity pass from one to another. That's been an issue. The younger generations they would rather work in the cities than weave their own fabrics because they feel that it's easy money. Inspired to help Filipino livelihoods through her brand, Martha sources all materials, even Vesti bags packaging, in various communities across the Philippines. Vesti is really 100% Filipino made. Aside from the fabrics that I get from the different weavers in Mindanao, I also have it made in Marikina, where I have good working relationships with different suppliers and manufacturers. So everything is really made here and assembled here. The Filipinos should prioritize Vesti at the same time, Filipino products, because it's our own, that's our origin. There's always an identity of who we are, and we always have to come back to it as our root cause. It's um, a way of giving back to the community, and we at the same time preserving our weaving heritage and culture. And that's really a big advantage if we promote the same time by Helping promote local craftsmanship to a wider market, Martha joins exhibits, trade shows, and design contests to introduce investy bags to buyers. I'm selling now through online, and of course, I join Mazars and now the Manila Fame exhibit. We are also penetrating now the national scene. So Manila Fame was a good opportunity for us to showcase all these fabrics and for them to realize that, oh wow, we have all these fabrics from Mindanao and we can also use it as bags, you know, as apparel, or clothes, not just as bone furnishing, since in the traditional way, they always use it as placemats or table runners and pillowcases. So there's always a move to go beyond what is the traditional design. I really have big hopes for Vesti. This has always been my passion. And being a Mindanao and myself, I grew up again in your city, it has always been an advocacy of my advocacy, a passion. This is what drives me, like, wakes me up in the morning, and the reason for me to really get out and go to the weavers and buy from them. Because I believe in our own products. I believe that uh, there's so much beauty that we just need to use all of these and then show it to the national market.